Okay, hello again. We're going to learn about the power rule for finding the derivatives. Okay, let's uh, have a look here. This is the power rule. Okay, if you have a function ax to the n, the derivative of that is a n x to the power of n minus 1. Written in the other notation, you can write it like that. Okay, function is y, derivative is to y dx. Okay, let's look at this. What's happened? This n has come down the front and then it's been reduced by 1. Let's see how that works. You'll remember our previous example. To find out the derivative of x squared, we had to do all this to find out that's 2x. We don't need to do any of this anymore because we know the power rule. Okay. See, this is x squared. It becomes 2x to the 1. Everything else works like that. Let's see. Here's some examples. f of x is x to the 5. Therefore, the derivative is 5x to the 4. This 5 has come down the front, and it's been reduced by 1. So 3x to the 5, the derivative will be 3, because 3 is just a constant, times 5x to the 4. Again, this has come down the front. The 3 is like the a, and 5 is like the n, so the derivative will be a n to the x n minus 1. So simplifying that, 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, here's one more. 7x. Hang on a minute. 7x is 7x to the 1. Taking the derivative, the 7 stays there, 1 comes down in front, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So x to the 0 is 1. 7 times 1 is 7. Okay, three more examples. This time we're using y and dy dx. 6x to the 5, it's just like the one we had before. 6 times 5 x to the 4, and 6 times 5 is 30. 1 and x squared. Wait a minute. How am I going to do this? I'm going to rewrite it as x to the minus 2. Okay, now I can just use the same power rule. Minus 2 comes down the front, and then minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Just to simplify this, I'll rewrite it the other way minus 2 divided by x over x to the power 3. Right. Last one. Really important one. Y equals 5. That's like 5 times 1. And 1 is x to the 0. So the derivative of that is 5 times 0 x to the 0 minus 1 minus 1. 0 times anything is just 0. So the derivative of a constant is 0. That works every time. You know that y minus 5 is just a horizontal line? So the gradient of that is 0. It always works like that. Alright, I hope this made it easy for you, and uh, good luck.